What's up guys? Here back with Fish Quack TV. We're doing our first saltwater video. Not sure how much we're gonna talk on this trip because they're, we're going on a party boat, I guess. Not partying, partying. Well, there's gonna be a ton of people on this deep sea fishing boat. Not sure what we're gonna catch. I know it's uh, probably just a red snapper, barracuda, grouper, sea bass. All that is a possibility. Uh, but we're just gonna strap the GoPros on when we're out there. And you know, whatever happens there, happens. But I don't think we're gonna talk a whole lot because, you know, it gets kind of awkward when you're trying to do a, a video <laughs> and people are like watching you and you're just like, what? Can't make a video? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned and uh, hopefully this video turns out well. If it doesn't, we're going bass fishing soon and I'm sure you guys will like that more. But here we go. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Welcome to another episode, Fish Quack TV with the boys. Drop your lines down right there, guys. Make sure you keep your thumb on the spool as you're dropping down so you don't get a backlash. Guys, when your lines hit the bottom, you want to be up on this spot about five to ten turns up off the bottom. You might have to wait a few seconds for a bite, but usually you're going to be up away from the grunts. If you land right on bottom, you're mostly going to catch grunts and other bycatch. So you want to hit bottom, bring it up five to ten turns. Guys, when you do hook a fish and you know he's on your line, bring it up nice and steady. Once you have the fish hooked, you do not want to keep setting the hook. Or keep snatching on the rod, otherwise you're gonna rip them off, and then you're gonna have to drop down here. Hey, you're like over here, Drop the line, guys. I did. I knew it. As soon as it stops biting, it means you lost it. This is it. We're catching on this one. Oh my goodness. Got him. About time. 
feeding the fish for too long. <laughs> oh man. Another shark. This one's a dolphin. <laughs> oh man. Oh, 
What is it? A remora, the sucker head fish. Oh, okay. So not a good fish? Uh, here, I'll let you try. No, you probably don't want it. Oh, man. Oh, sticks. Okay. Oh. You can do it if you want. <laughs> Feel that? <laughs> oh, so these are the ones that... It's an old man. Yeah, he... Be gone. Stick them. They're the ones that stick onto like sharks and whales. Uh -huh. Yeah, in front of Discovery Channel. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna get on out of here and make about two mile move. It's gonna be about ten minutes. Uh, ten minute move guys, gonna bring it on up. Alright, so I'm up to three species. I got a red snapper, a V-liner, and a sucker fish. It's a mora, I think you said it was. Mora. Anyways, I got to feel it. I'm sure you see that on the GoPro already. But he still hasn't caught one. Just doesn't have the feel for it yet. But he will. Hopefully. Hopefully. If he doesn't, he's a trash fisherman. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, that. stay tuned. We're almost there. We're almost to the bigger fish. I think we're headed there. It's gonna be like a little pound. It's like kicking my butt. sun kissed by by the sun got kunai's going again uh the heat was killer but the fish the fishing was pretty awesome i'd say um uh, compared to bass fishing i still choose bass fishing fresh water honestly uh being out in the salt water kind of like was like ah it just bugged me like big time because 
because you get it gets all over you. It gets like I don't know. The humidity was killer too. The heat was killer. But overall, a good day. Question for Buddy over here: Would you go back and do saltwater fishing again? Yes, I would. He would. I would say that I would, but not in August in Florida. <laughs> I'm coming back like in the winter or in the spring because I'm not going back in August. Anyways, but we had a good time and uh let us know if you like it don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching another episode of fish quack tv until the next one which is bass fishing a uh, big bass hopefully we'll see what happens but until next time see you guys